I love telling you when you're right and how great you are. And let me just start by saying, you are all wonderful and right most of the time. But sometimes CMS Nation, how do I put this delicately? You're wrong. And what I mean by this is sometimes the way we clean things are downright incorrect. But that's okay because of course, I'm gonna help correct those habits in a jiffy. And also, if we were all perfect, then there wouldn't be any celebrity gossip magazines and plastic surgeons and gyms would be out of business. So a little bit of imperfection is okay. That being said, let's have a little fun with this and explore five cleaning techniques or habits we are just plain wrong about. And of course, figure out how to correct them. First up, what's the proper way to clean a knife? Placing the top rack of the dishwasher face up to avoid cutting the wire rack. Hand wash with soap and water directly after use, towel dry and replace in knife storage. Or Fill sink with hot soapy water, let it soak overnight, and then rinse and dry the next morning. The right way to wash a knife is indeed to hand wash it immediately after use. Blades on knives are extremely delicate and can be damaged if knocked around in the sink or dishwasher, and they can also rust. So hand washing is your best bet to prolong the life of your knife. I use tumblers daily for my smoothies and for my tea. I've got a nice little collection actually, and I love that they're insulated. They keep the hot stuff hot and the cold stuff cold. So what's the proper way to clean them? Place them in the top rack of the dishwasher and wash on the hottest possible setting. Hand wash with dish soap and water and dry with a soft cloth. Or place in the washing machine inside a delicates bag. This happens to be an amazing hack. Despite temptation, dishwashing tumblers busts up the mug's ability to maintain a hot or cold temperature, which is, by the way, why you're using these mugs, right? The vacuum seal between the two walls can actually be broken in the dishwasher, and it might even fill up with water, which would give you that swishing sound, and you'll never be able to get the water out either. So yes, hand wash these babies, and if you need to get a straw or a mouthpiece cleaned, get crafty and get a pipe cleaner. Getting fingerprints and spots and face greases on your glasses, whether it's reading glasses or sunglasses, is a reality. So, how do you clean them? Use an optical cloth with a bit of cleaner or water. Give it the old one-two on your shirt. Use a piece of tissue and your breath. Glasses lenses are sensitive little babies and even something as fine as your soft cotton top or a tissue has teeny tiny fibers that can either cling on to scratchy debris or are large enough to scratch a surface themselves. When cleaning glasses, the only way to do it is to use a glass cleaning cloth or an optical cloth which is flat and will not pick up any debris and won't scratch and a little bit of water or glasses cleaner. Okay, so I know this isn't exactly a thing around your house, but oh lordy, here's something I think we all need to learn how to clean. You hear? So, how do you clean your ears? After a nice hot shower, get out a few cotton swabs and wiggle away. Stick your finger in your ear while out in public, wiggle and wipe on your shirt. Use a tissue wrapped around your finger and clean the inside and outside of your ears. Despite how gross you think earwax is, your ears actually need earwax. It helps protect your ear, and if you want more information on earwax, since I'm sure I've captivated you with this news, just wiki it. Cotton swabs can go too deep into your ear and poke around the precious ear equipment you have in there in an unhealthy way. Your pinky finger poked into your ear is actually precisely how deep you should go with an ear cleaning. So, after a shower, use a tissue and clean your ear out that way. Remember to get the outskirts too, right in there, and of course, behind your ears. Imagine you're driving your car and you look out through the windshield and it looks hazy. What do you do next? 
Wipe your window with your sleeve or your hand or anything just to clear the area so you can see better. Use a microfiber cloth with water or vinegar or rain or snow and clean in one direction only. Head to the A1A car wash and let them handle it for you. You probably got this one. I am such a cleaning nerd that I actually keep a microfiber cloth in my glove box. The haze and moisture that builds up on your window thickens over time and can make driving really challenging at night or when it's super bright. Rubbing the windshield only worsens your visibility since you're probably going like this and you create more haze and more streaks. If you notice your windshield needs cleaning, take out your cloth and a bit of water, or vinegar, snow, rain, whatever, wipe it in one direction to avoid streaks, and voila, a clean windshield. Well that's it my friends, a fairly quick and painless pop quiz and five new lessons learned. Break those old habits and start doing it right. Let me know in the comments down below what's a cleaning habit that you need to break or what's something that you've always wondered about cleaning wrong. Who knows, we might do more cleaning pop quizzes and I would love your input. Just a quick reminder to follow me, Chad, and Clean My Space on Instagram where you can catch all kinds of fun behind the scenes pictures, recipe, bad selfie pictures, cat pictures, and funny pictures. I'm at Melissa Maker, he's at the Chad Reynolds, and we are at Clean My Space. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.